Let's create a bar chart. With the default output, the gaps between the bars are attention grabbing and taking focus away from the data. While there aren't any rules for optimal spacing between bars, our goal is to enable our audiences to compare the lengths of the bars instead of the area between them. So general guidance is to thicken the bars to minimize the surrounding white space. We can achieve this in Excel by right-clicking the bars, choosing Format Data Series, under Series Options, adjusting the gap width. A value of somewhere between 30% and 40% percent is recommended. Another benefit of doing this is now that there's enough space to pull the data labels into the ends of the bars. This is a neat cognitive trick that helps reduce the effort for our audience to process. And while we don't want to go too thin with our bars, we also don't want to go too thick and completely remove the gap. This view now dangerously looks like a histogram where the bars do touch as they are illustrating that the data is along a numerical axis. Too thin, too thick, just right.